welcome back to the breakdown. Today, we're going to be doing a $550 Intel gaming PC build. We're going to be going over all of the parts that you need for a build. It's only going to cost you $550 and be branded Intel and Nvidia, actually. Now, I do want to mention that I did a very similar build, but set up with AMD a few days ago, so you can check that out at the eye at the top of your screen up there. Go take a look at that, and maybe you'll like the AMD build better. It does come in cheaper, and it's going to have about the same specs as this Intel build. But nonetheless, if you're bleeding blue and you love Intel, let's go ahead and get on into this video. First though, be sure to check out the links in the description down below on Amazon. If you go down there and purchase through any of those links, we will get a little bit of a commission for it at no additional cost to you. So thank you very, very, very much for doing that in advance. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this build. It's a pretty gnarly one. We're starting out with, of course, an Intel CPU. As promised, a Core i3-8100, 3.6 gigahertz quad-core CPU. This is a more than competent CPU for gaming, and Core i3s are actually quad-core now, making them even flipping better. I'm actually looking to build a system on this sort of a budget later in the year, and if I was going to go Intel, this is how I would do it, because this Core i3 is a beast for less than $150. This one actually cost you less than $147 on Amazon Prime, so free shipping. It is overall a great deal and a great CPU. In my mind, it is the best budget CPU from Intel currently on the market. Now, we're going to need a motherboard to throw this thing in, and we can put it in the MSI B360M Pro VDH Micro ATX motherboard. This is going to be a great motherboard that will allow us to upgrade our RAM in the future if we want to by just buying two more RAM sticks instead of having to buy all new RAM sticks. You can upgrade this system in the future by just buying two additional sticks and saving money by doing so. This is a great motherboard and it's overall going to be a great base for the rest of our build. Now we mentioned RAM here and the reason you might want to upgrade your RAM in the future is because we're only going with two four gigabyte sticks of G-Skill Rip Draws 5 DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM. I'll actually link some more RAM in the description down below as well if you want to check that out but this will be competent RAM for gaming. Gaming doesn't require a ton of RAM and the only reason you'd ever need to add more is if you want to do some photoshopping or something like that on this PC, which at which point you would need more RAM. But to start off, for just gaming, 8 gigabytes will be more than enough. And it'll allow you to game, have Discord open, and even have a Chrome tab or two open without any issues. And yeah, it'll just be very, very competent for you. So this G Skill Rip Jaws 5 is perfect for us. Now, for our storage, we're going with a personal favorite of mine, and that is a one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue Standard SATA HDD. Now, sure, you could throw an SSD in this system, but it really doesn't call for it in a budget build like this. And one terabyte will be enough for your OS, quite a few games, and any other media you want to store on your computer. It'll all fit on this drive. So yeah, overall, solid stuff there, and just a great hard drive from Western Digital. Now we still need our graphics card here and it is going to be from NVIDIA a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti 4GB graphics card. This graphics card is going to be great for 1080p, 30fps medium settings gaming and on you know brand spanking new games you might have to go lower settings on it. This is a budget build after all. So just full disclosure there if you want to rip games apart at high settings 1080p this isn't the build for you. It is going to be 30 FPS, 60 FPS, medium to low settings, 1080p gaming, but it'll get the job done. And if you're just getting into PC gaming, this will be a great system for you because you can upgrade it later. Both the CPU and the GPU, in addition to the RAM, are all set up to be upgraded to even the peak Core i7, 1080 Ti, max settings graphics card, CPU, and even up to 64 gigabytes of RAM in this system. So yeah, this is set up to be upgraded and your base of this build is great. If down the road you wanted to upgrade it, you could, and you're going to be able to game for quite a long time even on this setup. Now, I do want to mention our bottleneck here. It is 8.5%, meaning it is very much so within acceptable range. Big PC part builders like Cyberpower PC and people like that try to shoot for that 5 to 15% bottleneck range, and this one coming in at 8.5% is perfect and right in the middle. Now from there, we still need a case and we still need a power supply. So for our case, we're going with a DIY PC, Island Tech BK Mid Tower ATX case. That means you're going to be able to upgrade your motherboard if you wanted to. This is a great motherboard, but if you wanted to in the future, you could do a full ATX motherboard and still keep your case. It's also got some blue LED lighting in there and competent cooling for a very much so budget case. However, if you don't like it and you want a different one, 
one. You can check out the eye at the top of your screen up there, and it'll show you the top five PC cases under 50 bucks. And it's a list I made a while back, and it still holds true today. Those things are incredible. From here, we still need our power supply, and for that, we're going with a Cooler Master Master Watt Light 500 Watt Power Supply. This isn't fully modular. It isn't even semi-modular, but it'll get the job done, and this case does have plenty of room to tuck your cables down and away. So overall, that is this build, and it currently comes in at $545.92 at the time I'm making this video. It could go up a couple bucks, it could go down a couple bucks, but overall, that is what it is at the exact moment that I'm recording this video. If you guys have any questions, if you want to add to this build, if you have any questions before you buy this build, post them in the comment section down below. I try my best to reply to every single comment within 24 hours. My name is Nick. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this, and I'm out, guys. Peace.